We're back with best-selling author Ed Klein, author of the book The Amateur. There has been speculation that if things really, really get tough, that the nuclear option might be used, and that would be to, to somehow try to attack Mitt Romney on his faith. I think that would be horrendous, uh, bordering on un-American. Is that something that might be discussed even uh, in the Obama circles? I think it's been more than discussed. I think they've actually tried to roll out the first part of this campaign. The New York Times Sunday Review has done a piece about racism and Mormonism. N NBC spent a whole hour about Mormonism in prime time. ABC has run two segments on Mormonism uh, GQ has done a terrible, terrible piece about Mormonism, a negative piece about Mormonism. And, of course, MSNBC, as you might expect, has yeah. really <laughs> torn in to the Mormons. As, as and I like to call them BSNBC, yeah, but right. that's just <laughs> my version of it. So. All, all with one thought in mind, which is you've got 17 million Christian evangelical voters, and if you can cut all of whom are basically conservative and Republicans, and if you can cut that down by two or three percent, make some rep uh, Christian evangelicals stay at home rather than vote for this Mormon, it could be decisive in some swing states. It, I, I hope that doesn't happen for the sake of the country. I mean, you know, to denigrate someone's faith, particularly someone who is authentic about it, and he has been very authentic in his the practice of it. I think the testimonies the other night were evident of a person who took it seriously, who was an official in his church, didn't just right. uh, give even big checks, which he did, but he gave his life to other people. Um, if that happens, the potential is a huge backfire. I think well. you're right. How ironic that the Democratic Party in 1960 had a Catholic candidate who appeared before a group of Christian ministers Protestant ministers and said, listen, I am Catholic, but I'm not going to be taking orders from the Pope in Rome. I'm going to be an American president. And he was elected president. And for the same party to even consider using religion as a race card or as a card against Mitt Romney, I think is really quite disgusting. Well, I think it would be, Ed, and let's hope that uh, does not happen. Uh, I want to recommend to people, if you have not read Ed's book, The Amateur, I, I encourage you to do so. Um, it's, it's a very easy read. By that, I don't mean that it's shallow. I mean that he's written it so that the average reader uh, can absorb it uh, and, and appreciate it. And uh, it's been such a popular book that none of the major networks is willing to have Ed on, even though his book was number one on the New York Times bestseller list for over six weeks. has been in the top ten for, I think, 16 weeks. It has been a runaway bestseller, the hottest political book of the entire election season, and none of the networks will talk about it with him. You might want to find out what they're so afraid of. Uh, the book is The Amateur. I hope you'll read it if you haven't already. Ed, thanks very much. Thanks a so much, great buddy. pleasure.